welcome back to the 28th episode of Byzantium. This war is just dragging on forever. Can't believe we lost that battle. But I didn't expect him to have a fucking sick shock leader, holy fuck. I kinda wanna pick up Innovative now. So two years ahead of time, so we need to spend money. Getting inflation. I do want to upgrade my capital, but the building's expensive. 157. Templates. Yeah, what about constables? Where do they look like again? That one. Alright, upgrade my accepted. Oh shit, we're out of money. in the fold. Oh, a lot of money. A lot of, a lot of money. A huge upgrade to our army. They're just destroying us with their western tech. Here, though, holy shit. Support number here is 58, so we're fine. The walls are pretty and ween. So, 2,000 defenders, though. Probably hiring mercenaries. She doesn't have the manpower. To keep hiring troops like that. As you can see. Fifteen seventy-five. And we're down on manpower. Oh, it's off a treat. I'd almost take it. I'll just come over here and repair for a bit. Come all the way over here, holy shit. Hmm. Regency Council has undertaken a set of measures to reform the military system. A shit ton of manpower. We're we out soon, so I want the tradition, but 
It's huge. It's coming to wean. Start marching with you. The rest of you. Currently, how much is that taking more score worth? Okay, I did go to 6. Would have been like positive 20 for us by now. If we had it since the start of the war, of course. Peacing out early. Okay, I'm gonna raise more taxes. So I need to build buildings with my admin points badly. That one's the constable. Innovative, so we get more military tradition, but I think I need to take defensive in our military idea. If the Emperor, we can walk over any Imperial lands. Don't need military access. Oh yeah, I already looked at those. They know it's improved relations with Austria, so they won't rebel against us. One year penalty. Can't wait on that one.
seven point six ticking now. Yay. I want to upgrade this all the way up to stock exchange because it's my capital. Give me the most value out of it. I want to see how much money I'll make. Back at our limit now. Oh shit, are you attacking? Really, to roam? I guess it's okay. Admiral there because he takes less attrition. Give me a white piece. All I need to do is peace out Portugal. I'll probably win the war. France again. That's where I want to be. Over to Lithuania, have access. The white piece with us. Well, they even give us some money. Thank you, Portugal. Little treasury. It really wasn't holding us back that much. Oh, it was. To form a union with. Andres von Habsburg becoming emperor over both nations. Thirty aggressive expansion, which is huge. But they are a huge nation. And we go to we need to improve relations with them now. Did we really just uh, have a whole Regency go through? Netherlands, really? <laughs> Don't worry Netherlands, I do want to kill you, but not that much. Just want your land. Let's half fund our troops. France has their whole army stuck here. Lorraine. But because uh, Austria technically doesn't have a leader anymore, that it's our leader that's ruling over them. 
They cannot be elected emperor anymore. Absolute really sure. I like absolute monarchy. It's a good monarchy. It gives you cast a spell eye and ten percent discipline and lower national revolt risk. Welcome to the coalition. I worry a lot about it. Take the fifty admin points. Don't want to lose any chance me at this point. That sucks. But I was hoping to have an inflation reducer, but he's gone. Do I have faith? No. Constable? Yes. Town halls are good too. Cathedrals in E3 were OP. <laughs> Upgrade E2, so I know you have a huge base tax. Improve this relationship. What is this? Really? If you don't really mind this trend of going here because most of it leaves, it comes to me anyways. Income, a lot of it comes from trade, most of it from taxation. We still have that huge modifier reducing it by a lot. <sighs> it's 38 units now. I don't have to fight this for every single time. That's Spain, right? Yeah. In Great Britain. Sure, send the guy that's sitting around doing nothing. Our next mission. <laughs> I should give you diplomatic power, you go like 50% of the cost or something. Then it'd be a lot more tempting. Even, now, even then, it wouldn't be that tempting, but you know. More than it currently, it currently is. So I was thinking about innovative because it gives you this, it's amazing, and this, 
another really good thing. Of course this, which is also really good. 5%. Should save us to gold right now. Sure, we don't have anyone. That's stupid of me. Take you. Next one's important. Production efficiency, of course, makes it important. It's your friends. Central because it's 2.5 a month in taxes. It's a lot. It's getting close to what the gold province gives. I'll leave those. All right. Units. Let's build some frigates. Take the money because I want some more money. It sucks having no money. Of course, with the buddy buds, France. Should give it like another color for if they're the same culture or the uh, same dynasty as you.
spend those. Come over here. Get rid of this. I think the galley's here, though. You never know, that might be useful. Us. Plus seventy five, that's not enough. Protecting Crimea. All the caravels will be gone. Oh wow, 20 perfectly guessed. Keep all the early frigates, because they're not that much worse. So they give us 3.5 trade power. So let's give us a total of 5. That's a fight better. So why not, right? Oh, we'll probably have the frigates to confirm this. Let's see, we're first here, first here, first here. We're not first there, we're not first there, and we're not first there. So I think we need Venice, Genoa, and Tunis. Gulf de Azur is here. Or Cote de Azur, there. Let's figure out how much we need for here. Not that many. You sound like tensions there. Venice. Here, what we need. A lot. But here, we probably don't need that much. Send 10 there. Significate. Tunis. Oh, we can't reach her without, um, no, we can. Let's see if we get it. Let's give us cheaper light ships, which means more money made, naval tradition, cheaper tech, and an extra merchant. 
right click that. Let's check our costs. 39.94. 37. And an extra merchant. Where do we want to put that merchant? I'm thinking here, because then we can control our trade. See? Holy shit, they're pulling out of here hard. trade power from downstream you're getting it from boats I'm not sure if we can actually vassalize them actually we should be able to apparently then we can get rid of them Make more trade money. See if we can give him a piece of Milan. Oh, we expanded a lot for Westward in the past few years. All of Austria, that's our bitch. I'd like to get a Holy Roman Empire, bitch. But to do that, we'll need to vassalize members. Probably four of them. And if we pick up expansionists, will give us two more diplomatic relations. If we become the emperor. Get uh, one more. Or one more re reputation, I mean. on that once we get rid of Austria. So we can just go and get like the Palatinate, Saxony. Where are the other electors? need to go to war for Aragon. Or Spain, I mean. So I won't forget, I'll fabricate a claim on Malta. It's a huge discovery chance, considering that I have them as a rival. Go for one more diplomatic relation. Finish up Persia. Cora, Colonio. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please like, subscribe. I appreciate that. What are you doing? Thank you for watching, and bye for now.